Yesterday I was completely mad about craft work and tangerine dream and uh, Deutsche Armanerkanske Franzkraft, I hope I pronounce it right, yes. and all this music. So it's not like a house music and dance music just started yesterday, you know. It's got a long, long history and even much further back than that. I learn about my ideas and feel very strongly, but because, probably because my mother was a hippie in the good sense of the word, I was a punk. I've been brought up with, um, um, in a way that I don't control other people and other people don't control me. As long as you will let me be myself, I won't be aggressive to you and vice versa, you know. And that's the sort of philosophy I believe in. And all the people I work with, from the pe person who's my great friend for eight years, who makes my album sleeves, to the video directors, to the musicians, to the engineers, to the uh, uh, musicians, to my lawyer, to my accountant, or, or manager, my secretary, all the babysitter, all the people, I don't work for them and they don't work for me. We work together. If, if I have to have an effort with making a song, it's not worth it. If songs don't come up by themselves, it, um, it means they're not worth um, uh, the attention. You know, you should never force a song. It just means it shouldn't exist, really. But, but with, um, with, with these songs, I don't look at them as fantasy at all. They are, of course, sort of a game with reality, but I want them to be, in a way, more real than a reality. I can't think in that way. I've been doing music for such a long time, that every time I maybe started to think like that, or, or any way started to think what people think of my music, I lose the plot. And because I've, I've several times lost the plot, and it's such a scary feeling you wouldn't believe, that you, you train yourself not to think that way. The only thing you can do is please yourself. And the more selfish you are, the more generous you are, as, as uh, contradictional as it sounds. So what, what I'm always just doing is just do what I need to do at the moment. And, and the minute I start to please five people, I won't please anyone. But if I only please myself, I might please ten people, you see. Pop music, even though they invented this word, uh, this century pop, it's always been around, you know, and a natural way of expressing yourself. And I think it saves people every day, all the time, out of serious emotional traumas and sympathizes. Music sympathizes with people in ways that hum other humans, or your best friends or your lovers or whatever, could never do, you know. And another form as well, not, not only when people are heartbroken, music, pop music is important, but also in a way to celebrate, yeah. which is just as important as sulking or depression, you know, like all emotions are. No, I, I have very many sides to me, you know, like everyone. Mm. And I, I would truly think that everybody is, is rude, nice, mad, happy, sad, stupid, intelligent, genius, boring, exciting. Everybody have all these sides, you know. And, and um, who you are in the most? Nothing. I'm very different from day to day. And I think everybody are like this. For me, what irritates me about autographs is people are humiliating themselves in front of me. And, and I think it's terrible. You know, I make music, but okay, you know. And I come from a family of, of um, electricians and bricklayers and very hardworking people. And for me, music is the same thing, you know. And, and uh, there is soul in everything, you know. There is spirituality in everything. It doesn't live and, 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 and uh, it, it isn't in, in somebody who holds a microphone, you know, just because I hold, you know, you hold the microphone. Yeah, that's right. I, and I, yeah, it's, funny. it's just stupid, you know, and, and, and of course, if, I mean, we are all different. If it makes a person next to me happy, if I do like this, this moment, look, it takes me about three seconds. If the person goes, ah, and runs home and is very happy, I'm like, okay, we all got our different kicks in life, you know? But for, for me, it's just, um, it don't feel right. It's not because I, I don't have the time. It's just, I want people to be equal to me, you know, human, you know. I think it is very important. I mean, I'm influenced by everything, by books, by the weather, by uh, the water, by uh, my shoes, you know, if they're comfortable or not, you know, and everything. One of it is music. But I think it's very important with people who are dealing with making music that they are not only influenced by music. 
And I find it very sad when you find the record and it says on the record, this record was inspired by Miles Davis. It be, because it's like making, if you make a film, you don't make a film about the film. You make a film about the real life. And, and you wouldn't sit down and write a book about the book. You know, it's like recycling. It, it lo misses the point. And, and music isn't brilliant unless it goes beyond the point of being music and becomes real life. And, and, and so I'm influenced by real life. And, and, and when people listen to my music and say, oh, I can see great influence from this artist in there, I read that and I say, okay, I didn't, I, I didn't succeed. But if people listen to my music and say, oh, this made me feel like this and that and really feels like this, that's right. It should be beyond style, be beyond influence. It should be about pure emotion and, and real life. The, the spirit of rock and roll is to do whatever you feel and not have to worry about the consequence. So if I want to jump off this building, way, okay, I don't have to worry about landing and, and going to hospital, you know. That's the attitude of rock and roll. Drive very fast, you know, do whatever you want to do to the maximum or, or, or uh, sleep with a lot of boys or or, or if you want to eat 97 cake, or, 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 but not worry about the consequence. Cool. I think everybody feels like that sometimes. But rock has become the opposite of what it was supposed to be. It's not about freedom anymore. It's become the opposite of freedom. It's, it's so conservative now. The best, best thing for me is you sleep in, uh, in music. I, I've seen... Uh, uh, music cure uh, a lot of people and it just hasn't usually been uh, documented as well as a uh, heart surgeon will um, save a person. Yeah, the, the, but, but I guess it's tricky. You have to find the right song for the right person in the right time. I guess that's where the riddle that needs to be solved. Because uh, one song that works one day won't work, work another day. You've always been calling me from day one, since I was in school, like since I was five. That I'm mad, I'm weird, I'm from another dimension. I'm, they called me Chinese in school because I just definitely was no way I was from Iceland. Entscheiden. Wenn Sie blöde Musik hören, dann weil Sie blöde Musik wollen. Und wenn Sie das glücklich macht, ist das großartig. Menschen sollten nicht so snobistisch sein und sagen, dass Beethoven großartig ist und Tour Unlimited ist Müll. Das ist doch bescheuert. So einfach ist das nicht. Das wäre so, als würde man sagen, Filet Mignon ist toll, aber Bananen sind ein dummes Gewächs. Und das sind sie nicht. Man braucht all diese verschiedenen Dinge und man sollte sie genießen. Und wenn du eine Woche lang nur Toast mit Marmelade essen willst, dann mach das. It's not a question if it's man-made or not man-made. I think it's more a question of if you locate yourself in the right point between nature and techno, you are in now and it's a very um, it changes every day and you have to be part of both. You can't just be only techno and you can't be only nature. You have to be right in the middle. Very important. Um, I once tried to um, learn vocal training two years ago when I got into trouble. And I got trained by a gentleman who showed me how, what state your body is in when you sing opera. And, and um, what I realized that the, 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 the climax of opera was in Europe when we did not believe in our body and we believed in, in that, um, in, in, in some sort of God, you know, 300 years ago or something, and, and that the mind was much stronger and, and better than the body. We were always trying to leave all the body things out and nature was ugly, you know, and, and so, so we, it basically singing opera is trying to sing without your body. It's like I have no legs, I have no uh, hips and uh, sex, <laughs> and I have no hands. I have just like oh, some higher sense, you know, maybe 
two days a year, like Christmas, you know? But the other type days of the year, I would like to be human. I have so much fun being human. Because we got 1,000 years of, of being um, uh, on our own on this island, trying to survive pretty rough circumstances. So, um, and, and we couldn't, we don't have any religion. So we couldn't sort of scream for help to God or Allah or Buddha or someone. So we always decided to, um, when we were in trouble, you have to uh, help yourself. So it's, it's very self-sufficient. So if you need, uh, your car breaks down, you yeah. fix it yourself. And if you're hungry, you go hunting. And if you are, <laughs> if you get ill, you um, cure yourself. And if you need a painting on the wall, you paint the painting. And if you need a pink dress, you make a pink dress. So, uh, and if there is no good music uh, to go da to dance to and get drunk to in your town, you make it yourself. So I think that's, that's quite good. Uh, but, but I think uh, uh, generalized chasing is always a bit dangerous, but I, I like dangerous things, so I did this for you. <laughs> Okay, I, I think um, we have uh, mothers and we have grandmothers and we have great grandmothers who fought very, very, very many battles, you know? And I think if we, um, um, we have to respect their battles and they won quite a few, you know? So I think um, they have opened the cage for us and, and, and I think we should just go out of it and do something. Mm. And I think uh, being in, uh, instead of being inside the cage and just uh, scream and shout and say, I'm in a cage, I'm in a cage, I'm in a cage. You should just get out of the cage and, and do something. And I think um, it, it's been so much isolation for so long for, 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 for women. And I think if, if, if you are doing a festival and, and only women only, no men, I think it's... it's uh, having more isolation so i don't think it's a solution i think it's a step backwards mm. you know okay <laughs> yeah i think um, me probably all expression is a little bit about chemistry mm -hmm. of trying to evening out the pressure from on the inside and outside like like um and and the only way to do that is to make a identical twin of your inside on the outside. So if, if the vinyl or the CD sound exactly like the one who's on the inside, you get permission to relax. Mm. And it's like a pressure release, you know? Mm. So I, I quite, uh, yeah, it, it's like almost like um, a necessity. Like if you don't do it, you go a bit funny, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's um, yeah, it's, it's uh, again, move back to survival, I think. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I guess uh, my dreams, I, I feel usually probably more comfortable I in them than in situations like this. <laughs> yeah. I get very... Uh, You're a bit shy. Well, it just don't seem natural to me. But I'm, mm. don't get me wrong, I'm not being ungrateful. I'm, I'm very flattered for all your uh, interest mm. and I mean that sincerely but but in dreams it's more like emotionally when you dream is how uh, things are you know you 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 uh, have uh, nine legs and and you 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 uh, you feel like you're made out of wood or 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 or, or somebody be turns into a duck or whatever and and for me that's Yes, that's that. I agree with that. It's like yes, but but with situations like this, or 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 or, or the daily life situations you're put into, like like uh, to go to the, the the customs with your passport and the questions you're asked, and and and, and then um, your taxi driver uh, hits a cat or whatever. This situation I'm not so familiar with. I'm mm. still learning about being awake. I'm yeah. not very good with being awake. I'm much better sleeper, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And well, on stage, when I'm on stage singing, that's more similar to when I'm asleep, you see. Oh, yeah. It, it doesn't feel like I'm awake at all. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah.
And it's so uh, amazing when people uh, tell me that, that uh, electronic music has not caught soul. And they blame the computers. They got the finger and point at the computer. It's like, there's no soul here. It's like, you can't blame the computer. If there's not soul in the music, it's because nobody put it there. And it's not the tool's fault. I decide, I remember deciding not to, to, uh, to, uh, that I was going to do my things anyway. There's two way of, I remember playing with the kids in the street when I was five years old and finding there was two ways of, of being. It was crossroad. Mm -hmm. I could be compromise and be what I'm supposed to be, normal, and, and under the pressure of small-mindedness and bourgeois, and, and, um, or I could have a happy life and have a good time and just do what I want. And I decided rather just to do what I want, because the other thing, it sounds very boring. No, I will never compromise oh, that's with good. what I am. I was born this way. Mm -hmm. I'm beyond help. There is nothing that could uh, rescue me. Mm -hmm. I was like this when I was two years old. Mm -hmm. It's a very delicate relationship between discipline and freedom. Mm -hmm. And uh, right in the middle um, lives joy. Well, I have this theory that, um, which might not be true, but it's my uh, own imaginative theory that um, it's always kind of been the same a little bit, like say thousand year ago or two thousand year ago or one thousand year from now, that it's uh, only a certain percentage uh, that have the courage to be emotional. And then there's uh, all the other percentage that are repeating um, what was done before. Um, but that's, that's uh, I think that's very natural. I think we are grateful that in a certain way people uh, are conservative and like tradition. Mm -hmm. You know, certain old ideas are good, like that chairs have four legs. It's a good idea. Otherwise we'd fall over. Yeah, very practical. Yeah, and, and, and uh, so, but, but otherwise, but, but I think things like, say, for example, the, the, the extreme opposite um, is, is maybe the, the feelings, you know. We can only have the feelings we have uh, right now, you know, and 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 uh, and I, I think it's very important that the spontaneity of of that. Right. And for me, that's that's my that's my kick in life, you know. I guess. Yeah. My sense about you and reading and knowing a little bit about your music is that you have always been in love with sound, sound, all kinds of sound. Yeah. Not lyrics, sound. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What's tell me about that? <laughs> I mean, all kinds of sound. Yeah, it's just the one uh, most uh, all-embracing, forgiving, understanding thing there is. Just in the full abstraction of it. It doesn't ask any questions. Yeah. And uh, you don't have to explain yourself. And, uh, and it's the one world where... Uh, that can cover like all the all the all the all the emotional levels of you. I feel a lot. At least I'm the sort of person that, when it comes to say something like language or or uh, just communicating on a daily basis, I feel like I'm trying to put an ocean through a straw. You describe the process of acting as one of extreme cruelty. Well, I don't think it has to be. But it was. Um, yeah, I, I think... Uh, um, creativity uh, doesn't have to be uh, uh, cruel to, um, to uh, be good, you know? I think uh, I think it's a, a, sh a sign of impotency if you think you have to add cruelty to your work for it to be considered art. 
I think if you are confident enough uh, in what you do, it 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 should um, it sh you you would just let it you would nurture it, you know, with a, with positive energy. I'm that naive. <laughs> Um, I've, I've, I've always felt very sad with uh, pop culture, um, uh, especially the um, anti Warhol and all that uh, period, which was all about erasing mythology and erasing the past and cutting the cord from all past and that to uh, shoot the roots down into. Campbell soups and and plastic and 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 uh, manufactured and and mass made uh, polka dots and it's something that I have never found any roots in. Um, I always thought that that one could shoot the roots five thousand years back, have all the mythology one has from nature and from country, and still be completely uh, modern. I guess for me there's two kinds of politics. It's um, a sort of what usually is called politics, which is sort of um, power struggles and um, uh, on a sort of um, international level. And th then uh, there's the other politics, which I think I deal with, which is about um, can you do you get along with the people you love and 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 uh, those kind of relationships or, or those kind of personal politics? Mm. I think it's very important in times of, of of war is to not forget the the personal politics if you want that um, mm. and and I think music um, is about that. I don't think the way to deal with uh, the September 11th is to sit down and write a song about it. I think you have to sit down and write a song about something else, because there are more things in the world than Bush and Bin Laden. Thank God. I think sometimes, you know, listening to your music over the years, there's kind of a, I don't know, and I don't mean this, you know, patronising or whatever, but there is a, a kind of a, a, a childlike sort of purity or, or even beauty to what you do. Is, is that, is that do you think you, or is that an Icelandic thing? Is this is a sort of purity of where you're from, or whatever? Mm. I think it's probably not fair on Iceland to think all the people over there are like me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because I... <laughs> um, I'm very lucky because I worked with people since I was, like, 16. Yes. Same people. Uh, so I can, I have, uh, I think it's called in uh, uh, common language, full artistic control. Y what you have? Yeah. And only very few people have this. How I remember it, um, in school I was, um, I guess, sort of the, um, the eccentric in the back. Um, but I, I was never a teased or anything. For some reason, uh, people just left me in peace. Maybe just because I was kind of euphoric most of the time, kind of in my own bubble. So it, it didn't really um, threaten anyone, I guess. What was your favorite subject in school? Mathematics. Um, I think it's a known fact, actually, that um, if you go to university and you take, for example, mathematical students. Almost all of them are obsessed with music. And you go to the physics department, and none of them are. They're more into how things react to each other, like, like, like uh, theater or, or, or um, social things. In, in a way, music and mathematics are very similar. I mean, who could explain that, um, that uh, if you play certain note 53 times and then another note 10 times you you get a certain emotion with most humans and it, it makes no sense I truly with hand on my heart feel that i'm doing music for the everyday person um, um like i could have so easily gone and become 
a composer and done some avant-garde music in some corner for the chosen 11 and a half person. <laughs> and, and, uh, but I, I've never wanted to do that. I think my role is more to be some sort of a communicator between all sort of different worlds. I want to do so many things and I've got so little time. London is gorgeous because it functions as a, as a brewing pot for people from all over the planet on similar missions to me. And if I don't talk to them regularly and, and I don't see them play regularly, I just go mad. You know, in Iceland, I was very much the odd one out, you see. I just need to know that I'm not the only one. Don't be scared. Just have to go with the flow and see what happens.